So of course, last Saturday po ay naibahagi po ni Sister Cherry ang topic tungkol sa the six symbols of the Holy Spirit. So matatandaan po ba natin kung ano yung six symbols para po sa inyo, para matandaan natin, ating ibabahagi kung ano yung mga letters. It's T W W F O S. Ganon tayo minsan mag-memorize, di ba mga students? Dati sa college, ganon tayo mag-memorize. So ano yung D W W F O S? Yun yung dove, water, wind, fire, oil, and seal. Amen. So, kaya po natin uh, dapat matutunan to muli or i-remind ko sa inyo muli yung the symbols of the Holy Spirit dahil napaka-importante po ang each topic tungkol sa the Holy Spirit dahil magkakasunod po nating iba, uh, binabahagi po sa atin para magkaroon tayo ng uh, ma-recall natin at ma-remind tayo sa mga nakaraang topic. So, today is all about the works of the Holy Spirit. So, Last, first topic po, ang topic natin is, Who is the Holy Spirit? Kung alam nyo po na banggit doon na the Holy Spirit is a person, the Holy Spirit has a mind, emotion, and will. And lastly, the Holy Spirit does personal actions. So kaya napaka-importante ng Holy Spirit because He does personal actions in our lives. Amen po ba? The works of the Holy Spirit ay mahalaga sa buhay natin na mga born again, mga believers of Jesus. Why? Because without the works of the Holy Spirit, we are nothing, we are empty. Amen po ba? So because Because of the works of the Holy Spirit, we can do the will of God. Amen? So, fasten your seatbelt dahil sampung works of the Holy Spirit po ang ating pag-aaralin ngayon. And I hope makuha ko po yung oras natin. So, the first works of the Holy Spirit is that the Holy Spirit regenerates a believing sinner. So, nabanggit ang regenerates. Sa mga Grace Connect students, alam natin na regeneration is actually a theological term of born again, born of God, or born of the above. Amen? So, these terms po ay nababasa natin sa Bible. And the meaning of these three, born again, born of God, born of the above, is regeneration. So, From the Bible, from the book of Genesis pa lang, until sa Revelation, you can read throughout human history the work of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Hindi lang po ito nababasa sa the Acts of the Apostle. Particularly na po doon sa the New Covenant where regeneration is available. And you can begin to understand that regeneration is only through the Holy Spirit. So tayo ay na-regenerate only through the Holy Spirit. Not you are regenerated because of the pastor, because of the bishop, because of that person na nag-share sa'yo ng message of grace or the gospel of grace. But it is only through the... Amen. So dapat malakas yung voice natin. Amen. Without the Holy Spirit, there is no way a person can be regenerated. Amen. Kaya napakahalaga ng works or ministry ng Holy Spirit sa regeneration na maborn again ang isang tao. Because born again is not a work of man, but it is the work of the... Holy Spirit. Amen. So the book of John chapter 3 verse 6 says, Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the Spirit gives birth to Spirit. Ang naborn again sa atin ay ang ate. Ang nagborn again sa iyo ay ang Holy Spirit. Tandaan mo yan ha, ang nagborn again sa iyo hindi ang church, hindi ang Grace Unlimited. Kung ang nagborn again sa iyo ay ang Holy Spirit, that's it. Amen. Ang nagborn again sa iyo ay ang Holy Spirit and without the Holy Spirit, there is no way for you that you can be born again. The Bible says 
that you must be born again because unless a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. He cannot enter the kingdom of God. He cannot experience the kingdom of God. We are here because we want to see what? The kingdom of God. We want to enter the kingdom of God. And we want to experience the kingdom of God. Amen? Masarap po mamuhay kapag na-experience natin kung ano ang nasa kingdom of God. Amen? So, prerequisite po for a person to enter the kingdom of God is for a person to be born again. Amen? Kaya mapalad tayo na we are believers of Jesus Christ. We are regenerated. We are so blessed and highly favored knowing that the Lord Jesus Christ is giving His Holy Spirit to us for us to be regenerated. So sad to say lang po dahil may mga misunderstanding or misconception pa rin tungkol sa pagiging born again. Sabi nila isang new New church daw yan, isang new religion daw yan, isang bagong spiritual ideology daw yan. No, that is a big, big no dahil ang born again is always a spiritual experience. Experience po siya. Dahil po kung wala tayong experience, we will not embrace kung paano tayo binago ng Panginoong Diyos. Amen po ba? So regeneration actually is an act of God where a spiritually dead person is made alive in Christ through the Holy Spirit. Dahil sa kasalanan ni Adan, Amen po ba sa kasalanan ni Adan? We were all sinners. We were all spiritually dead. But thank God for His grace, for His love and mercy that He sent His only begotten Son to save us. Amen po ba? Para ma-align natin muli ang ating relationship kay God the Father. Amen? So if we were spiritually dead, person before, now we are spiritually alive. We have new life. We have eternal life. We have abundant life because we are now regenerated. And thank you sa Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. Praise God. And that is the work of the Holy Spirit regenerates a believing sinner. Magre-regenerate lang siya into a believing sinner. A sinner who believes that he needs Jesus in his life. Mag-regenerate lang siya a person who accepts Jesus and who humbly asked repentance that he was spiritually dead and he needs to be born again. Amen? Kailangang maniwala ng taong yon sa the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ. That Jesus died for our sins. Jesus was buried. Jesus was raised again on the third day. And until now, Jesus is alive forever and ever. Amen? Amen. Praise God. So once you are born again physically, you cannot be unborn. If you are born physically, of course, pag lumabas yung bata, hindi naman pwedeng ipasok ulit, di ba? Sa sinapupunan ng nanay. Similarly, once you are born spiritually, you cannot be unborn. Because already, the Holy Spirit lives inside of you forever. Hindi mawawala ang Holy Spirit sa'yo. Amen? Maybe you have heard this line na, ay, dating born again yan. Wala pong term na dating born again. Dahil ang pagiging born again po natin ay hindi dahil nag-join ka sa isang church or dahil nandito ka lang sa UAE, ikaw ay born again. Pag umuwi ka sa Pilipinas, hindi ka na born again. Once you are born again spiritually through the Holy Spirit, there is no way that you can be unborn. That is why you can never lose your salvation. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin nagkamali ako 
I already lose my salvation. Or the Holy Spirit is not in me anymore. No. Hindi po. If you are truly saved, you are forever saved. Dalawa lang yun when you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That you are truly born again or not born again at all. Diba? Not born again at all. Kasi when you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you have the born again spirit in you, when you allow the Holy Spirit to guide you and lead you into your journey, hindi mawawala sa'yo ang pagiging in love mo sa Holy Spirit, ang love mo sa Panginoong Diyos at kay Jesus. Ba't mo babalikan yung dating ikaw? Ba't mo babalikan yung dating daan? Binigyan ka na ni Lord ng new journey, ng new life. Amen? Amen. Praise God. So, are you born again? Amen. Amen. Praise God. So, can you say, I am born again forever? Our born again journey will never stop, okay? Hindi lang po dito dahil sa UAE tayo, nag-church tayo dahil may family tayo. Wherever we will go, either makikita namin kayo sa Canada, sa Japan, sa UK. Di po ba kaway-kaway kung sinong may desire na pupunta doon? You will still do your mission there dahil born again ka wherever you will go because the Spirit of God is everywhere. Amen? So the second works of the Holy Spirit is that the Holy Spirit secures your salvation. Imagine mo yan, the Holy Spirit secures your salvation. Wow! The Holy Spirit secures our salvation. That is the work of the Holy Spirit not just only to regenerate regenerate you but also to secure that you are born again and that you are saved forever. Amen? Apostle said in the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verses 13 to 14 and you also were included in Christ when you were heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you believe you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of His glory. The message of truth is the gospel of our salvation. Amen? The message of truth is the gospel of our salvation. When we believe the message of truth. When we believe the gospel of salvation, we are already marked in Him with a seal. And what seal is that? And what seal is that? Come on, come on. What seal is that? The promise? Holy Spirit. So last Sunday po, shinare po ni Sister Cherry sa atin yung halaga ng seal. Di po ba? Yung ownership, yung authority, yung protection, yung assurance. Saan ka pa? Ni-generate ka na, ikaw ay na-born again na, yung spirit ng, ni God ay nasa sa'yo pa. Sinecure pa niya yung salvation mo. And there is nothing for you to do that. Wala ka nang dapat gawin. Because ikaw ay minarkahan na ng seal. At etong marka ng seal, eto yung pagiging Christian natin. Dito natin makikita na isa siyang Christiano because he or she is already marked with a seal, which is the promise of the Holy Spirit. Dahil bakit? Makikita sa actions mo ang the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Makikita sa pamumuhay mo kung sino si Holy Spirit. Amen po ba? Who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of His glory. Amen. God's own Spirit comes to indwell or take up residence in the believer. Amen? The promised Holy Spirit identify actually God's people as His inheritance. Amen? The Holy Spirit provides the inward assurance that they belong to God as children. We belong to God, therefore we are the children of God. Amen? So Ephesians chapter 4 verse 30 
It says here, And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. The Holy Spirit of God with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Until the completion of our salvation, until the day of redemption, until the second coming, we were sealed. Amen. We are set apart. Minarkahan tayo. Amen. So, dapat masasabi natin na we are charito. We are blessed and highly favored because of that sealed, the promised Holy Spirit. Amen. You were marked in Christ with a seal and you were sealed for the day of redemption. Amen. So, napakaganda po dahil Sinasabi dito na kapag ikaw ay naselyuhan, there's always ownership. Pagmamayari ka ng Creator, pagmamayari ka ni Abba Father, amen po ba? So, ang nagmamayari sa'yo, ang Creator ng buong universe, amen? When you are sealed by the Holy Spirit, the enemy... The enemy knows that you are owned by God. So, wag kang mangamba. Wag kang matakot. Wag mong sabihin, tabi, tabi po, pai, ganon. Dapat wala na tayong ganon. Dapat wag kang matakot. Dapat ipagsigawan mo na you are the child of God. Pwes, darating ang child of God. Diba? Dapat ganun. Dapat meron kang confidence from God. Amen? Dahil ikaw ay anak ng Diyos. You are the heir of God and the co-heir with Jesus. Amen? And how do you know that for sure? You should know that because the Holy Spirit is in you. Amen? So Romans chapter 8 verse 16, it says, The Spirit Himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Amen? Ang mga anak ng Diyos ay kakaiba kung gumalaw. Ang anak ng Diyos ay kakaiba kung magsalita. The way she acts, the way she works, the way she talks shows the grace and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen? Kaya palagi nating sinasabi na I am the child of God and I am the child of God forever. Can we say it again? I am a child of God forever. So number three, the Holy Spirit indwells you forever. Amen and amen. The Holy Spirit indwells you, indwells me forever. Not for a while, not for a certain time, not for this month only. But what it says, forever. My forever sa Holy Spirit, amen? The Holy Spirit will be with us forever. And because of this, we can have the confidence that God will never leave us nor let us us down because the Holy Spirit is in us forever. Kahit ano pa yung struggles na dumating sa buhay mo, God will never leave you nor forsake you because the Holy Spirit is in you who is giving you the strength to fight all your struggles. Amen po ba? Amen. So 1 Corinthians chapter 6 Verse 19 says, Or do you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God and you are not on your own? Amen po ba? Our body is what? Is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Kaya dapat alagaan natin yung ating katawan. Honestly speaking, we need to take care of our physical body. In what way? Dapat matulog tayo, magpahinga tayo, kumain tayo. Let's take rest. Amen po ba? Dapat kakain tayo ng tama, huwag tayong mag-skip ng meals. Dahil, alam mo yun, magkakasakit tayo. So paano nalang mag-work yung pinapagawa ng Holy Spirit sa buhay mo? Amen po ba? If you are anointed, you can be unhealthy also. So mas maganda na yung anointed ka plus healthy ka pa at chubby ka pa, kagaya ko, di ba? So, ay, si Kuya parang na paano yung kape niya. So where is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is in you. Inside, not outside. So inside in you, the Holy Spirit is inside of us. 
It's inside of us, not outside. So saan siya naninirahan? Sa puso natin. Amen po ba? That is why dapat nating alagaan kung anong meron tayo. Amen? Praise God. The Holy Spirit is inside your born again spirit po. So Romans chapter 8 verse 9, But you are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if indeed the spirit of God, who is the Holy Spirit, dwells in you. Now, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. Last time po, shinare ni Ate Jackie yung names and titles of the Holy Spirit. And one of the titles po ng Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Christ. Bakit nga po ba? Because the Holy Spirit is similar to Christ. Amen? So, John chapter 14 verse 16 And I will ask the Father, and He will give you another Counselor, who is the Holy Spirit, to be with you forever. Ang Greek word po ng forever ay, ayun, ayun naman pala, my forever. So, the Father gives us another Counselor, who is the Holy Spirit, and who is with us forever. The Holy Spirit will never leave you, kahit nagkasala ka. He will be grieving but He will never leave you because the Holy Spirit cares and loves you so much. Amen? For how long nga po bang mag stay ang Holy Spirit? Forever. So ang ibig sabihin po sa ayon Greek word po yan ang forever is without end. Always and forever. So the day one na tinanggap mo si Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and you have the born again spirit inside of you, nananahan din ang Holy Spirit sa you and He will stay with you without end, always and forever. Amen? Praise God. So walang sandali na iiwan ka ng Holy Spirit. And there are times, there are times, minsan sinasabi natin na, ramdam ko today, parang nawala yung Holy Spirit sa akin. Bakit mo naramdaman yun? Kasi nagalit ako. Bigla akong na-down, tapos nagalit ako, tapos sumigaw ako doon sa partner ko, doon sa asawa ko. So, Nawala ba ang Holy Spirit sa'yo? The Holy Spirit is there inside of you. But the Holy Spirit is grieving. Amen po ba? So, hindi naman po based sa feelings mo na nawala ang Holy Spirit. Actually, kailangan nating paniwalaan kung ano ang sinulat sa Bible na the Holy Spirit lives inside of us forever. Yung feelings, feelings lang yan, temporary. Pero, mas more superior po ang word ni Lord. At more superior po ang ating faith. Amen po ba? Praise God. So, sometimes feeling mo wala sa'yo yung Holy Spirit, pero sinasabi mo na, Babalik pa kaya sa akin yun. There's no need for you to ask that Holy Spirit come back to me. Please come to me right now because the Holy Spirit is already inside of us and He will never leave us. Amen? So nung nakaraan ng Sunday Shiner ni Sister Cherry sa atin yung big idea, In Christ, I have the Holy Spirit forever. Amen? Ulit, ulitin natin. In Christ, I have the Holy Spirit forever. So yung pang-apat po, The Holy Spirit baptizes you into the body. Pakiulit nga po. The Holy Spirit. So anong ibig sabihin nun? The Holy Spirit places us into the body of Christ. Amen? So 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 13, it says, For by one Spirit, we were all baptized into one body, which is the body of Christ. The universal church, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, and have all been made to drink into one spirit. Amen. Given na po na binaptize tayo ng Holy Spirit into the universal church. But we need to ask the guidance of the Holy Spirit for us to look for a local church. Some of us, medyo choosy pa tayo mamili ng mga churches. Gusto natin yung Super AC, 
bongga pagdating, may Starbucks ka agad, or may pa and all. Madami tayong hinahanap sa church. Pero dapat ang una nating hanapin sa church is kung ano yung tinuturo doon sa church na yun. Napakahalaga na maturuan tayo ng gospel of grace. Amen po ba? Dahil aanhin mo ang church kung patay naman ang espirito. Dahil ang espirito ay no, naaano siya sa mga itinuturo na hindi makatutuhanan. Amen po ba? Mahalaga pa din na maniwala ang isang simbahan kung ano yung ginawa sa the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yun yung pinakaunang, pinakaunang hanapin natin sa isang church, yung nagtuturo ng grace, na walang works, na walang performance, only full grace, only by the grace of God. Amen po ba? In the body of Christ, sometimes, Sinasabi mo na parang may discrimination dyan, may races. But no, once the Holy Spirit baptizes you into a universal church, into the body of Christ, it is you actually who choose where you want to go. Which church yaan? Amen po ba? May mga times na magkakaroon ng issue sa church, may division. But fix your eyes to Jesus alone. Fix your eyes to Jesus kahit anong mangyari sa church na yan. Continue in serving God. Continue in serving Jesus. Amen? Dahil walang perfect church po. Walang perfect church. But yung Holy Spirit na nasa atin, bibigyan niya tayo ng guidance and wisdom to look for a church where you are fit, where He can do all His works. Amen po ba? Praise God. Praise God. In the body of Christ, in His church, we are all the same. Walang mahirap, walang mayaman, walang may degree, kung ano man yung educational background mo, kung ano man yung uh, estado mo sa buhay, kung ano man yung physical condition mo sa buhay. Di po ba? Walang ganun, pantay-pantay lang ang pagtingin ng Panginoong Diyos sa atin. Amen po ba? So that is in the body of Christ. Amen? The Holy Spirit actually places us into the universal church. Given na po na kapag nabaptize tayo sa, the, sa Holy Spirit, bibigyan niya tayo ng universal church. Yun yung body of Christ. Amen? So it is up to us and with the guidance of the Holy Spirit that we can find a community just like grace and limited. So if you don't have church here in UAE, I am inviting you to please come and join us every Sunday po dito po sa Alnada area, sa Sharjah po, 2.30 p.m. Join us in worshiping the Lord. Amen? We only believe in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? So... Look for a church that will teach you the true gospel, the message of grace, the full grace. Amen? Huwag tayong maghanap ng church na based doon sa kagustuhan mo or dahil doon ka komportable, dahil doon si kumare, si kumparshi. Ay, medyo malapit-lapit lang sa amin yan. Isang step ko lang na bumagsak na ako kaagad sa church na yan. No. Huwag, huwag pong ganun. Dapat po isipin natin ang pinupuntahan po natin ay hindi po dahil komportable tayo doon, kung hindi po dahil na, napakinggan natin yung the full grace, yung message of grace. Amen? Ang paghahanap po ng tamang local church ay dapat ganito po siya. You must look for a church where they teach salvation is what? By grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. Nothing but grace. Grace plus nothing. Grace, grace all the way. Amen? Kaya nakakalungkot because meron pang ibang mga individuals talaga. Sa kakahanap, kakahanap nila ng church, hindi na sila magkakaunda gaga kung saan sila pupunta or parang naiisip na lang nila na mag-stay na lang ako dito sa bahay at mag-online na lang ako, you should be part of the community. Amen? Because the community will help you to encourage you to build up your relationship with Jesus. Amen? Dapat ang church na hahanapin natin ay sapat na ang biyaya ng Diyos, sapat na ang tinapos na gawa ni Jesus Christ. Amen? So if, if you are part of the body of Christ, your mindset should not be local lang, but also universal. Thinking na ka-brother, ka-sister mo siya because 
he is in the same church. Naniniwala siya sa message of grace. Huwag mong sabihin ay kami-kami lang Grace Unlimited. No. We have also our brothers and sisters sa Grace Life. We can reach out to them. Amen po ba? Dapat yung mindset natin magpagmahal tayo sa kapwa nating Kristiyano. Especially doon sa mga taong namulat din sila sa katotohanan yung message of grace. Amen? Yung the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ because we are only in one body. Amen? So, we are all brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. Amen? Amen? So, the fifth one is that the Holy Spirit transforms your soul. Amen? Amen? What the Holy Spirit does? The Holy Spirit? The Bible actually tells us that we are all created with three parts. Spirit, soul, and body. And ang naborn again sa atin ay ating spirit. Amen? Our spirit is already perfect. It doesn't need transformation. Dahil ang nangyari sa spirit mo ay na regenerate ka na. Amen? Our spirit now has a new life, eternal life. The life of Christ is already given to us. We became born again through the Holy Spirit. Our soul needs transformation. And our soul has three parts. Ano yun? Mind, emotion, and will. And these three parts are still not yet perfect. Why? Una, mind. Nakakapag-isip ka pa din ba ng hindi maganda? Di ba? Yes or no? Maging honest tayo. Amen? Yes, nakakapag-isip pa tayo ng hindi maganda. Nagkakaroon ka pa ba din ba ng nararamdaman na hindi maganda? Yes, there are times. Nakakagawa ka pa rin ba na hindi tama? Yes, there are times pa din na may mga choices tayo na hindi tama. Amen? So that is why the Holy Spirit transforms our soul. We need the Holy Spirit to transform our soul, to transform our emotion, will, and our mind. Amen? To renew our mind. So 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. But we all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed, metamorpho, yung Greek word na ginamit sa transform. Kung naalala nyo po yung stage ng butterfly, amen, metamorphosis, into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord, the Holy Spirit, amen. The transformation of the soul is by the Holy Spirit, not hindi sa kapartner mo, ka prayer partner mo or hindi nagta-transform because your pastor told you to change your mind, to change your emotion, to change your will. The transformation of the soul is by the Holy Spirit. Amen. So the Greek word is metamorpho. Yung Greek word po ng transform literally means a change in form. The word comes from the word Metamorphosis, which describes the process of the life of butterfly. Before po si butterfly nakafly, naging egg mo na siya. Naging caterpillar mo na siya. Naging pupa mo na siya. Before siya nagkaroon ng adult stage at before siya nakafly. May pinagdadaanan po siyang stage. Just like us, we are still in the stage of sanctification. Paunti-unti pong nagbabago, di ba? When you were new, receiving the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I'm sure, nung bago-bago mo pang na-receive si Lord, hindi ka agad 100% na-transform ang personality mo. There is some stages, ay, hindi na pala ako nagbabakbite, ay, hindi na pala ako nagsisinungaling sa asawa ko, ay, hindi na pala ako nangunguha ng pera sa asawa ko, parang ganon, di ba, na walang paalam. So, yung mga ganun po, tinatransform tayo pa unti-unti ng Holy Spirit, amen po ba? Just like you and me, our soul is in process. You change from the inside and out. You did not change from the outside. Kung outside po yun, ang ibig sabihin po nun is cosmetic change. Yung mga nagpapa pailong, gusto ko din yan, Jo. <laughs> nagpapa, ano sa kilay, microblading, gusto ko din yan. So, 
Maganda naman yun, wala namang sinasabi na bawal yun. Pero dito tayo focus sa how the Holy Spirit transforms our soul. Amen po ba? Ang tunay na pagbabago actually ay nagmula sa loob. Papalabas. Amen? Praise God. Kapag ang binago mo ay labas lamang, that is cosmetic change only. And it is called reform. Mission. You change the form outside, yung physical na anyo mo. Transformation is from inside, tapos makikita nila outside. Wow, nagpa-pray ka na pala ngayon before kumain. Di po ba? So, may mga nakikita na nila yung love mo kay Jesus Christ. Yung nagsasabi ka na na God bless you. Dati rati, Uy, kita-kits tayo ha! Sa ano? Sa ganyan. So ngayon sabi mo, Ay, God bless you. Uy, You are already blessed in the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ. So yung mga ganun, nasishare mo na God loves you. Alam mo, God cares for you, kapatid. Ganyan din ako dati. So maipabahagi mo na sa kanila kung ano yung mga changes na nasa loob mo, yung character mo, yung personality mo. The Holy Spirit is changing your mind slowly. The Holy Spirit is changing your emotions slowly. The Holy Spirit is changing your will, yung mga choices mo. Ngayon, iba na. Hindi ka na masyadong nag-a-add to cart. <laughs> yung once in a month na lang, di ba? <laughs> yung mga ganon. So talagang, Binago ka na ng Holy Spirit. Paunti-unting nakikita mo, nakikita din ng mga kasama mo, and they will believe na this is really the child of God because the love of Jesus is inside of her, okay? And then, dapat, ano tayo, dapat we should be minded na ito kasi yung pinaka number one target talaga ng enemy is yung ating mind. Doon siya talaga pumapasok sa mind natin kung ano yung mga sinasabi niya. You are abandoned, you are rejected, you are a failure. So dapat, etong mind dapat i-renew natin through the word of God. Dapat basahin natin yung mga promises ng Panginoong Diyos paulit-ulit sa buhay natin because yun lang talaga yung word ng Panginoong Diyos ang tangi lang talaga natin ma ma i ma ipag anong anong tawag nito um we can fight against the attack of the enemy and we can say that i am blessed i am highly favored i am loved by the lord amen amen so the ministry of the holy spirit is important that is why we have to recognize the ministry of the holy spirit inside the church because the holy spirit is the one transforming the believers from glory to glory to be more like jesus christ hindi na tayo yung nagsasabi pagsabihan mo yan naka rip jeans na naman bawal sa church so hindi na tayo yung ganun pagsabihan mo yan bawal yan may tato bakit mo pinapunta dito sa stage. So, wala na tayong ganun. Di po ba? So, alam na natin na if the Holy Spirit is inside of us, we will act with the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yung pamumuhay natin is according na kung ano si Christ Jesus sa buhay natin. We are becoming more like Jesus Christ. Amen? Tandaan, ang pinoproseso sa atin ay ang ating soul na binubuo ng ating mind, emotion, and will. Kaya napakahalaga sa atin because I know that this soul is using the five senses. So eto talaga, di po ba, napag-aralan natin last time yung tungkol sa unbelief. So napaka-importante talaga na dapat before doing something, before posting something in the Facebook or any social media, mag-isip muna tayo kung tama ba to. Hindi yung, magbayad ka na sa utang mo, tapos doon pa naka-caption, di po ba? Kakabasa ko lang kasi yung friend ko, ganun yung pinost niya. So, may God bless her, so dapat wala po sanang ganun. So, I know na we don't act like like that here in this church. Amen? So we are not yet there perfectly, but we have left already kung ano tayo dati and we're on our way there na talagang we are considered as more like Jesus Christ. So can you say, Hallelujah! hallelujah. Amen! Dahil hindi ka nakikipag-plastic at pangiti-ngiti, parang napipilitan or napu- naano lang na ganito yung gawin mo sa church organ. But we, this is who we really are. 
as a child of God. Eto talaga tayo, amen? And as soon, as very soon, our body will be like the body of Jesus Christ. Especially pag dumating na muli si Jesus Christ on His second coming and when the trumpet sounds and we see His face, amen? And we will be with Him forever. Our spirit, our soul and body will be perfectly like Jesus na po and we will be with Jesus Christ forever, amen? So, number six po, the Holy Spirit convinces you on your righteousness. Ano po yung ginagawa ng Holy Spirit? Sometimes when you feel you sin against God, you feel that you are not anymore righteous in the eyes of God. Sasabihin mo, Hala, nagkasala ako. I'm not anymore righteous. But actually, that is really, really wrong. Because yung feeling natin na you are not anymore righteous, those are not right. Our emotions are not right in that kind of feeling na hindi ka na righteous dahil nagkasala ka. The Word of God actually is more superior than what we feel. Ito lang o, oh, the Holy Spirit convinces you on your righteousness. Say, I am righteous in Jesus Christ. Amen. When we sin, we feel unrighteous before God. Normally, yung tinuturo sa atin sa religion dati, we need to repent, keep on asking God to forgive us again and again so that we will feel right. And feeling mo, you are righteous again before God when you already repented your sins, when you already asked forgiveness. But do you know that When you sin, you are already forgiven. Amen? Yung sa mga past mo na kasalanan, yung kasalanan mo ngayon, and even in your future sins, you are already forgiven. Amen? Is that true po ba? Amen. Amen. We never lose po yung ating righteousness even when we sin. Why? Because hindi po ito para konsintihin kayo na magkasala kayo muli kasi righteous naman din pala ako kahit nagkakasala ako, no. It's not like that. Dahil ang totoo niyan, we still commit sin because of our mind, emotion, and will na sa process pa nga tayo ng sanctification and this soul of ours is still not yet perfect. And when we sin, always the enemy is telling us that you are not anymore righteous, you are not accepted, you are not saved, your prayers won't be answered. But what is the ministry of the Holy Spirit? Is to convince you of your righteousness. The ministry of the Holy Spirit is to convince you of your righteousness. We are still righteous before God even if we sin. Amen? Why? Because grace is greater than sin. Amen? What the Lord Jesus has accomplished on the cross is greater than what we can do as Christians because it is the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ. He gives us already His righteousness and that righteousness we can never lost it. Amen? So, The book of John chapter 16 verses 8 to 11, it says, And when he has come, he will convict, Greek word, elegko, it means in English, convince. So ginagamit din ang convince, apart sa word na convict, the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they do not believe in me. Of righteousness because I go to my Father and you see me no more. Of judgment because the ruler of this world is judged. There are three subjects here. Of sin because they do not believe in Jesus. Yan po yung mga unbelievers na hindi naniniwala kay Jesus. Of righteousness because I go to my Father and you see me no more. Dito po pinag-uusapan yung mga believers Amen? Of judgment because the ruler of this world is judged. Yun po yung enemy. The devil is already defeated. Amen? Amen po ba? Naniniwala po ba tayo na we are righteous? Amen? Amen. Praise God. The Holy Spirit convinced the world of sin. The Holy Spirit convinced the world about righteousness. And the Holy Spirit convinced about judgment. Ibinahagi po dito sa scripture na ito na of sin because they do not believe of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Amen? So, the Holy Spirit convinced na dito sa mundong to, we are in this world and makasalanan ang mga tao dito. Kaya kailangan nilang maniwala kay Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Jesus will sit at the right hand of the Father and He will be our forever intercessor po. Advocate for the Father declaring our righteousness before the Father through His finished work. So whatever sin man ang ginawa mo ngayon, believe it or not, the Holy Spirit convinces you of your righteousness. Dahil mahal ka ng Panginoong Diyos, you have the righteousness of Jesus inside of you. Amen? Kaya mahalaga po ang pag-ascend ni Jesus sa heaven para po pag-akyat ni Jesus sa taas, pag pagbababa naman yung Holy Spirit niya. And in order to convince us, to convince us every day, mahal ka ni Lord, you are righteous You are righteous. You have the righteousness of Jesus Christ inside of you. Pag ikaw ay na-convince ng Holy Spirit, you will say to yourself, I need to do what is right in my life. Lord, please guide me. Holy Spirit, give me the wisdom to guide me. Amen po ba? Amen. Praise God. So, number seven po. The Holy Spirit teaches you All things. Amen? What the Holy Spirit teaches us? Not some things. Not many things. But actually all things. And what is that all things? In the book of John chapter 14 verse 26, it says, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, He will teach you what? And bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Ano ba ang ibig sabihin nitong all things? Does it mean when you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, you know everything? Alam mo ba lahat? Accounting, engineering, computer, lahat na ng bagay alam mo. You are all-knowing person na. No, hindi po ganun ang ibig sabihin dito. Hindi po sagot ng Holy Spirit lahat. Meron po tayong teacher for specific course na tayo po ay tuturuan. Amen? Sa computer, tayo ay tuturuan sa accounting and engineering subjects. Hindi po yan work ng Holy Spirit. Amen? Hindi po ito mga bagay. May mga bagay din na itinuturo ang Holy Spirit sa iyo. So ito 'yon. Ano nga po ba 'yon sa John chapter 16 verse 13? However, when he, the Spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak and he will tell you things to come. So the Spirit of truth The Holy Spirit, He will guide you into all truth. Kung kanina all things, dito, He will guide you, He will teach you into all truth. Ano nga po ba itong all truth? All truth is knowing who is Jesus Christ. The truth of His resurrection. Amen? The truth of His finished work. Amen po ba? The truth kung sino si Jesus, the works of Jesus, yung ministry niya, nung shine na bubuhay. Amen? The cross of Jesus, the death and burial of Jesus tinuturo dito all truth yun yung kalakip ng all things hindi ibig sabihin nun kapag meron ka ng Holy Spirit alam mong magluto inday kung hindi mo alam mapag-aralan yan sa YouTube pero hindi ibig sabihin ng Holy Spirit ang magabay sa'yo there's no way like that amen all things po dito ay all truth all about kay Jesus Christ amen if you have the Holy Spirit you cannot be wrong about about Jesus. You cannot be wrong about Jesus if you have the Holy Spirit. Amen? If mali ang paniniwala mo tungkol kay Jesus, you do not have the Holy Spirit who is in you. If mali ang paniniwala mo tungkol sa finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ, you don't have the Holy Spirit. Amen? If hindi ka naniniwala sa message of grace, sa the gospel of grace, wala na ang Holy Spirit sa'yo because the Holy Spirit will teach us you all things, all truth. Amen? Amen? All about Jesus Christ. Amen? Because the Holy Spirit cannot lie about Jesus Christ. He cannot hide the goodness of our Lord Jesus Christ. He cannot hide the miraculous things na ginawa ni Jesus. He cannot hide the grace na ipinagkaloob ni Jesus sa atin. Amen po ba? So number eight po, 
the Holy Spirit helps you in your prayer. Praise God. Alam mo po, very powerful po ang prayer. Amen? Praise God. Kapag di mo alam kung ano ang ipagpapray mo at paano ipagpray ang isang tao, the Holy Spirit helps you in your prayer. Amen? It doesn't mean po na mag-aral ka mag-pray is through memorizing words. Yung Our Father. No, it is communication between you and God. And if you do not know what to say, the Holy Spirit will reveal it to you. That is why makikita natin or maririnig natin, people are groaning, they're speaking tongues. Romans chapter 8 verse 26. At the same time, the Spirit also helps us in our weakness. Because we don't know how to pray for what we need. There are times... We are weak. We do not know what to say. Naubusan tayo ng words. Amen po ba? Especially if we are asking for the Lord for guidance and palagi tayong nagpo-pray. Amen? But the Spirit intercedes along with our groans that cannot be expressed in words. Umiyak ka. Nagpo-pray ka pa rin as long as your focus is the Lord Jesus Christ that you want com to communicate to Him. Amen? Kung ano yung sinasabi mo na hindi mo mabigkas-bigkas, nagpa-pray ka pa din, the Spirit intercedes along with our groans. This verse refers to the prayer language which is through speaking in tongue. Amen? Yung speaking in tongue po ay hindi po yun sineseminar or pinag-aaralan. Ito po ay gift na galing po sa Holy Spirit. If you have the gift of speaking in tongue, you can use it in prayer as a prayer language. You can use it and pray in the Spirit. Amen po ba? Praise God. So, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 2. For he who speaks in tongue does not speak to men but to God. For no one understands him. However, in the Spirit he speaks mysteries. Amen? You have an access when you pray in tongues. Amen? So, kapag nagpo-pray ang kasamahan natin in tongues, let it be. Let it be, okay? So you do not know what you are saying. That's the gift of the Holy Spirit. There are times kahit hindi mo alam, but still, the vision na binigay ng Lord sa'yo, doon niya mairi-reveal sa'yo kung anong gusto niyang ipapagawa sa'yo. Amen? If you have the gift of tongues, you can pray in tongues in the Spirit. And you do not know in your mind what is the meaning of that. People usually do not understand, but you are actually talking to our God the Father. Amen? 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 14, it says, For if I pray in tongue, my spirit prays, but my understanding is unfruitful. Amen? Amen, praise God. So, so you can pray in tongues. There is a union in your spirit and the Holy Spirit inside your born-again spirit, in your born-again spirit. We need to understand actually that the Holy Spirit helps us in our prayer. So to God be the glory po. I spoke in tongues. I prayed in tongues last Tuesday before I took my final test for sa driving. So I really praise God to God be the glory for giving me the chance na maipasa ko po yun. So very helpful po ang speaking in tongues. I praise to God and also yung uh, breaking of bread. Napaka helpful din po, napaka effective. Really, I already prayed many times, but I sense that there is something which I need to do. So thank God, thank you sa guidance ng Holy Spirit for teaching me. And that's why nakapag-pray ako in tongues and doing this effective way and very powerful po yung Holy Communion. Amen? Praise God. So number nine po, the Holy Spirit empowers you to be a witness. Amen? What the Holy Spirit does? As believers in Christ, we are called to witness and share about God's greatness to those around us. You are a witness. You are a witness of God's goodness. Amen? The Holy Spirit empowers you to be a witness. To be a witness, we need the boldness from the Lord. Amen? We need the wisdom from the Lord. As followers of Christ, we are called to share the good news of His life, death, and resurrection 
to every nation. Amen? We can only do that in a very powerful way through the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit po empower you as you share the Word of God. Amen? Do not go there na, alam ko na to, kung anong isi-share ko, for God so loved the world. Ganun no. The power of the Holy Spirit should be in you. Ask guidance. Amen? Ask the Holy Spirit to lead you, to guide you. You should have this encouragement. Ano kaya yung um, way ko dito, Lord? Turuan mo ako, Lord, para maibahagi ko sa Kanya ang, ang, ang salita mo, Lord, yung message of grace mo. Amen? We can only do that in a va- very powerful way through the Holy Spirit. Amen? So Acts chapter 1 verse 8, But you shall receive power. When the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Amen? You shall receive the power, and you shall be witnesses. When you receive the Holy Spirit that is in you, we need to glorify our Lord Jesus Christ sa lahat ng kabutihan na ginawa niya sa atin. We need to testify kung anong ginawa niya sa'yo, kung paano ka na-transform. Amen po ba? Kung paano mo na receive see Jesus all because of his glory only amen the salvation of souls is a supernatural work only made possible by the power of the holy spirit amen praise god so lastly po number 10 the holy spirit gives you what amen only believers have spiritual gifts I'm telling you once again, only believers have spiritual gifts. Every believer has a spiritual gift. You are gifted. You have a spiritual gift. Amen po ba? Praise God. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7. A spiritual gift is given to each of us so we can help each other. A spiritual gift is given to you not because for your own purpose, not because for your own reason and for your own plans, but this is to bless the church, to bless other people in serving the Lord. Amen po ba? In honoring the Lord. Amen? Spiritual gifts are given to help the church. Spiritual gifts are given to help the community. That is why maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga ministries dito sa Grace Unlimited. All of you has a ministry here in Grace Unlimited. Can we give God a big clap offering? Because of your ministry po, the work of God po talaga ay lumalago. Amen po ba? Dumadami ang ministry. Dumadami din mga members na i-encourage na gamitin yung kanilang gift. Amen? So may tanong, kailan ba ako mag-join sa ministry kung alam ko na kung ano yung gift ko? No, it's not like that. You already have the spiritual gift when you receive the Holy Spirit in you. As you go to the church, you worship God, you be part of the community, God will reveal to you which gift you have. Amen? And that gift will manifest in you. Amen? So palakpakan po natin si Lord. Spiritual gifts are given to serve others. To serve people. Hindi lang dito sa Grace Unlimited, but also other people outside the church. Spiritual gifts are used to honor God. Amen? So 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 11. It is the one and only Spirit, the Holy Spirit who distributes all these gifts. He alone decides which, which gift each person should have. It is not you who will decide which gift you have. It is not you who will say, I am good in this one, so pwede ba akong ganito? No. It is the Holy Spirit alone decides which gift each person should have. And that gift, you will be useful to serve the church. Amen? The Holy Spirit decides what gift you receive. Never in my whole life na nasa dream ko po, na nag-ambition po ako na tumayo dito sa harap ninyo. Amen? Ang gusto ko lang maging dancer sa Japan, para umangat sa buhay. Pero praise God, when I receive the Holy Spirit that is inside of me, alam mo po, change ka talaga. change yung mga plano mo, yung mga dreams mo in life. Amen? According na po siya sa plano ng Panginoong Diyos. Hindi according sa plano 
ano mo na umunlad ka lang, no? The Holy Spirit is actively working in the lives of the children of God. And praise God because the Holy Spirit is working inside of you, is inside of us. Amen? So let's give a big clap offering to the Lord. And to summarize the 10 works of the Holy Spirit, can we read one by one? The works of the Holy Spirit Amen and amen. So the big idea is, sabay-sabay nating basahin. The Holy Spirit is at work in me. So palakpakan po natin ang Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Do you believe that the Holy Spirit is at work in you? Okay, so what is the big idea again? So who is at work in you right now? Amen and amen. So let us all stand up. Praise God. Hallelujah.